I had a moment this past weekend that really shook me up emotionally and I became involved in this exchange and fast forward I found myself out in my car just feeling so bad I started to cry and then I started to cry even stronger as this emotion welled up inside of me and all of a sudden I stopped because I had this awareness and this message in my mind this pre-programmed message oh my god get yourself together you're supposed to be the one that has it together all the time what if someone sees you like this you know all this all this raw emotion and then right behind that (laughs) a very another another comforting and soothing voice came in and said you know what no one's going to see you you're entitled to this your moments and this is why I've given you the gift of privacy so I want to talk about privacy and I share I have shared many of my private moments that I ordinarily would not share but I I do this for the sake of my work and because I know that always there's going to be people who can hear the message and and do something with it or heal because of it so today again my message has to deal with the gift of privacy and so many of us have a lot of uh, preconditioned uh, notions about the conceptually the conceptual framework of privacy I know when I was growing up um, and God bless her uh, my grandmother is a lovely woman but if I ever wanted a private moment just to be by myself it was what do you need, what do you need a private moment for? What do, what do you do behind closed doors? What's going on with privacy? So even this this conceptual you know frame of behind closed doors, time to myself, what I do alone when no one is watching, it's so important to embrace to truly embrace your gift of privacy. Now let me just ex- expand. Uh, the the definition and where I'm coming from with this. Let's think about all the different types of privacy we have. Can you imagine if at any given time a, anyone w- was privy to to the right to jump inside your mind and they could just read what you're you're thinking. They could capture all of that. I mean, I think we'd all be in trouble a time or two in our lives. Can you imagine, uh, you know, if if you're at home alone, just enjoying your solace and solitude and someone could just bust, bust through the door? You know, we have privacy for a great variety of reasons. But one of the key reasons, and we overlook this, we also have privacy, the benefit of privacy, to care for ourselves, to care for our emotional health, and to do the things in terms of the, the, either the rituals, the reading, the things that will lift us day to day. They not may not be uh, things that other people would uh, understand, and they may also be things that if people saw them, it'd be like, hmm, that looks kind of strange. But I'm constantly trying to to take people out of any stigma where it comes to taking care, taking care of yourself. There are things every day, every day that simply need to be done as you're embracing and celebrating your privacy. I'm big on affirmations. I do a lot of work in my car. I read my affirmations out loud. I look in the mirror as I do that. I do my uh, power stance every day. I think if I did it out in the middle of the street, it may stop some cars. But this is what I do for myself. I do things for myself in private so that I can function and be on the straight and narrow powerfully uh, when I'm operating in the world and when I'm operating in public spaces 
or or with my family. So I, I want to, I'd love for you the next 48 hours to just go inside this framework of privacy and think about all the territory that you could really gain, all the enjoyment, uh, all the balance that you could acquire if you take full advantage, take full advantage of this gift of privacy and going back to the story that I opened with in the car, you know what? I was able to really in no short order, about 10 or 15 minutes, uh, do some journaling, do some meditation, um, share some messages with self that really got me out of a, a funky place. So this is why we have the gift of privacy, so that we can heal, we can deal in a non-judgmental, safe space, easy way that we create for ourselves. Thanks so much. This has been Inspirational Shorts with Sheila. I'll connect with you soon.